So what I was going to do for today's episode was I was going to film a nighttime adventure or like a dusk adventure because the sun is literally, well it's set, but it's going dark. I want to go out and find some nighttime Pokemon. I want to find a Gengar, but the servers are just down. So I've walked all the way out here, busting my nuts, uh, and, and the server's not working at all. I'm going to wait a little bit longer, hopefully update you, and hopefully it'll be working. Right, so the servers are back up and running for now at least. We can get on, but my recording software isn't actually working, so I'm not going to be able to record the screen, but we're going to be able to do it with the camera, so that should be good. Hopefully, we're going to get some good Pokemon on this nighttime adventure. What I really want to get is a Gengar. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop an incense down around us, possibly drop a lure down on Pokestop, but I don't, don't really want to stay in like in one place. I want to keep on moving because it's cold and because nighttime is kind of scary, but we'll see what we can find. I hate you right now. Well, the servers aren't working right now, so we're gonna have to do it another night. Like literally, this is gonna kill the game. All right, so I'm out for the second night. It is about 11 o'clock at night, so it's not too late, but it's dark. It's late enough. We're gonna get onto this. Hopefully, the servers are gonna work today because they're working a lot better today than they have been. Beaches are pretty scary things at night time because you literally can't see anything. <laughs> So the first Pokemon of the adventure is a Zubat. You know what? I'm not even going to catch it. I'm just going to carry on walking. No, no Zubats today. All right, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get stuff from here. Good, it's actually working now, sweet. And I'm going to put a lure down on it. Never put a lure down before in my life. And boom. Right, sweet, the lure is down. Oh my God. Someone else has put a lure down on another Pokestop, which is somewhere in the darkness. That is so bait. Ooh, a Magikarp, yay. Like legit, am I gonna have to go to that Pokestop? I think I might do, but that is so, so, so bait. We're gonna have to do it for the vlog. But I mean, if I die, if, if I don't come back, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm good at running, so. I'm gonna have that in my favour. Or could we just stay here with our lure? But that's not adventuring. Come on, Will. So I'm trying to decide if that lure up there is actually too bait or not. Like, I'm actually scared. I don't, I don't know whether I should go to it or not. What do you think, dudes? Oh, no. Right, I'm doing it. I'm going for it. Okay, it's happening. I've literally only got my phone torch to light the way. So my battery's probably gonna drain really badly. Hopefully this goes to plan. <laughs> Tell you what though, this lure is sick for Magikarps. I'm gonna have to keep getting these guys for the Gyarados hunt. That is what I want. I want a Gyarados so badly. But coming on my own was a good or a bad idea either. So many crickets. I think they're playing Pokemon. Are you playing Pokemon? Yeah, <laughs> I've seen you lure. Right, so it turns out that there's some guys just sitting on a bench playing Pokemon. Nothing to be scared about yet, I don't think. <laughs> but it's all friendly at the moment. I almost just, almost just tripped up on a step though, so that's kind of scary. Apparently around here in this area, there's a beast called the Beast of Bobmin Moor, which is a little well, not little, a big like panther puma like cat that prowls the lands around here and it like goes and eats loads of farm animals and apparently there's been sightings and stuff literally search it in Google and you'll find things about it and apparently my dad said that my grandma saw it once when he used to live here she came back one day and she was like I've just seen the beast uh, so I mean I kind of hope that we don't see it now because that would be a quite bad timing Yesterday I was up here and I saw an Alakazam on this list here, but it didn't show up and I don't think it is here right now. We'll see though. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Alright, I don't think 
there's anything else around here that is actually worth getting. So I'm gonna head back to the lure. All right, so I'm back at the Pokestop where we first started, and literally all it's finding is water-type Pokemon, which kind of makes sense considering we are at the beach. But I want to find something cool, I want to find something rare that we've not found before. I was at the zoo before today and there's an Electabuzz just chilling about everywhere. I couldn't find him at all. We need to find something rare. All right, come on, Will. Let's, let's actually get a good throw here, man. On this late night poke adventure, you know what I could do with? An ice cream, please. Literally just sitting, waiting, wishing for something awesome to spawn. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Jimmy. Oh, well, we can spin it. We can spin it another time. Try, try, no. I mean, you are quite cool, Psyduck, but I'm kind of bored of seeing you now. Oh, and also I evolved one of these guys before. I forgot to show you dudes. This guy is 779. Gold duck. Bosh. Another one. Another one. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit cold out here now. Don't know if you can see it, you probably can't, but this field is full of rabbits. If we get close to one, we might be able to see one. I think they're all running away from me, you know. <laughs> but literally, I came on here. <laughs> they just jumped out everywhere and scared the poop out of me. Lure has gone, and we got precisely two polywags, two magic carps, and two psyducks. Oh, and a weedle. Sick. <laughs> We've actually found a relatively rare Pokemon, and it was on the beach. And he's 294 as well, which is pretty good. I've only ever caught one of these guys before, so raspberry this dude up. I'm gonna great ball him as well, and hopefully, we'll catch him. Yeah, buddy! And another Poliwag to round off. A relatively unexciting Pokemon hunt, Pokemon-wise, because it's quite a good adventure-wise. All right, so we're gonna end off this Pokemon Go nighttime adventure. On the beach, we're on the beach, we finished it off. It was a little bit scary, I got a little bit scared myself. We, we found someone else that was playing Pokemon Go, which was pretty cool. We didn't really get that many exciting Pokemon, apart from that Dratini right at the end, which is, a Dratini is a rare Pokemon. A Dragonite, that would be so cool to get. I've seen other people getting it across the world, but unfortunately we've not got that ourselves. We didn't get anything from our goal. Our goal was to find a Gengar, which was a high goal. We're never, we're never gonna be able to do that. Um, but we didn't find any Gastlys or Haunters either. Hopefully we'll do that in another episode, but if you have enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button down below. Let me know in the comments what other kind of things you want to see me do in Pokemon Go, and I can try and bring that to you. But yeah, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all on my next video. Adios, amigos.